A very good morning boys and girls, Reverend Victor here with another school assembly for you this morning. It's a joy to be with you. Isn't it a beautiful morning, thank God. It's lovely to see the sun out. It's not particularly warm, but at least it's nice and bright, which makes an awful difference. It always lifts our spirits, doesn't it, when we have a nice, bright uh, day. So thank God for that. Now I'm here in the rectory garden. You might remember uh, the senior students uh, some time ago planted these apple trees. There's a row of five of them here. I'm not sure if you can see all of them. I'm standing in front of one. It's uh, coming on very well. And the one behind me even has, I, I'm not sure if you can see, two really uh, big apples. Are Actually, I think there's about three on it are growing up. So it's it's wonderful to see. In about two or three years' time, these uh, trees will uh, produce lots and lots of apples so I'm looking forward to that plenty of apples uh, to eat well boys and girls the reason I'm in the garden this morning is because I want to talk to you about a very special garden that God planted and I wonder can you guess the name of it or do you know what I'm going to say did anyone guess the garden of Eden if you did well done congratulations that's exactly what i want to talk to you about this morning the garden of eden now god created our beautiful planet earth he created all the other planets in the solar system mars and venus and mercury and jupiter the huge gas giant and the beautiful sun that's uh, providing heat and light for us at the moment our very own star he created at the center of our solar system and all the other uh, stars in the sky and the wonders that we see at night and of course during the day uh, as well so all of this beauty god created and he created a very very special garden a beautiful garden and in it he placed two people i wonder boys and girls can you guess their names did anyone say adam and eve Again, if you did, well done, congratulations. Adam and Eve were the very first human beings, two human beings that God created. Now, God created Adam, and then he felt that Adam might be lonely on his own, so he took one of Adam's ribs and he created Eve. So he placed Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, and I'll show you on a map in just a moment where that garden was but it oh you can only guess what the garden of eden looked like it would have been absolutely magnificent absolutely beautiful and a lot more trees than just my five apple trees here at, at the moment um but anyway there were two trees in particular that god created and i wonder boys and girls can you guess what they were well there was the tree of life and there was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Did any of you guess those? If you did, again, well done, congratulations. God planted lots of trees in the Garden of Eden, Eden, but two trees in particular he planted, the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And these were magnificent trees with beautiful fruit on them. And he said to Adam and Eve that they could eat as much fruit as they liked from any of the trees in the garden and they could eat lots and lots of fruit from the tree of life. But he asked them not to eat any fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So I'll leave that there for just a moment and we'll go to the map and I'll show you exactly where the Garden of Eden was. Now, boys and girls, I hope you can all see that map clearly. Here's the continent of Africa. And you can tell that my map is quite old, actually, because can you see this country here called Sudan? Have you ever heard of Sudan? Well, Sudan is now split into two. The northern part is called Sudan, and a new country called South Sudan was created. The people voted in a referendum for independence from Sudan. So uh, my map is a bit old, so it doesn't show South Sudan, but that's where South Sudan is, and there's Sudan. And just north of Sudan, we have Egypt. You might remember when we were talking about Moses and the Ten Commandments last week. This is the land of Egypt, where no Moses and the Jewish people were held captive. And then remember, they made their way back through the Sinai Peninsula. Do you remember that? 
and made their way back to Israel just right there along the Mediterranean coast and this country here Turkey Do you remember we were talking about Turkey as well yes you might remember Noah Noah's Ark came to rest right here up in the mountains of Turkey okay boys and girls but if we make our way just south of Turkey we come into a country called Iraq have you ever heard of Iraq right beside it this large country here is Iran and there's some other countries around here you might have heard of there's Syria Jordan and Saudi Arabia well right here in the middle of Iraq between two rivers the Tigris and the Euphrates rivers was a land called Mesopotamia and Mesopotamia means the land between the two rivers and it's right in the middle there between the two rivers that the Garden of Eden was so we can't really see too well on the map because there aren't any rivers pictured on, on, on the map just uh, drawings of the countries but if you see Iraq there there's its capital Baghdad but right somewhere there between the two rivers the Tigris and the Euphrates River was the land called Mesopotamia the land between two rivers and that is exactly where the Garden of Eden was so there you are boys and girls Well, boys and girls, here I am back in the garden. I hope you enjoyed looking at the map. So in future, if anyone asks you where was the Garden of Eden, you'll be able to point at Iraq on the map and say right there in between the rivers Tigris and Euphrates. So well done, boys and girls. Now, I'm standing here uh, with the rowan tree, which the senior students planted. And one of the reasons they picked a rowan tree to plant here in the garden is because the rowan tree produces lots and lots of little berries that birds like to eat. Now at the moment there's no berries on our rowan tree, it's quite young, but as it grows and gets taller, already it's got so much taller, it's much taller than me, but as it grows and grows it will produce lots and lots of berries and so they'll provide food for all the little birds and especially during the winter time when birds are finding it difficult to find uh, food to eat so that's a great way of attracting birds into your garden is to plant a rowan tree now boys and girls you might remember before we went to look at the map and to find out where the Garden of Eden was. I was talking to you about two trees in particular that God planted. Can you remember the names of those two trees? There was the tree of life, well done if you remember that, and there was the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Well done if you remember those, well done guys. Well, of course, God planted lots and lots of different trees in the Garden of Eden, and there was also lots of animals and birds and plants there as well. It was a, it was a really wondrous place. We can only begin to imagine what it must have looked like. But um, right there in the centre of the garden were these two trees in particular that God planted. Now, God said to Adam and Eve that they could eat from any tree or any bush, whatever uh, they wanted to eat from, in the garden they could. They could eat as much fruit from the tree of life as they wanted, but he asked them not to eat any fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But would you believe there was a serpent in the Garden of Eden and the serpent tricked Eve into eating from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, the tree that God had asked them specifically not to eat from. Now, uh, he was saying all sorts of things to Eve about this tree and why she should eat from it. And unfortunately, she fell for his lies and she went and she plucked some fruit from the, the uh, tree of the knowledge of good and evil and she ate it. And she actually found that it tasted really, really nice. So she went uh, for a walk in the garden and who did she meet only adam and she had some of the fruit with her and she said to adam you know this fruit came from the uh, tree that god told us not to eat from but it's really really tasty and really really nice and so adam took some as well and lo and behold who happened to come along next god walking in the garden is not a beautiful image boys and girls of god walking through the garden that he planted through his wonderful creation probably 
on a day like this with the sun beating down uh, got walking in this wonderful garden and instead of uh, running up to greet him and to saying hello Adam and Eve hid because they felt guilty because they ate from the tree that they'd been asked not to eat from so at first God was a bit surprised why are they hiding from me and then of course the penny dropped and he realized and he asked them had they eaten from the tree of knowledge of good and evil and they admitted that they had and so God sent them out of the garden of Eden so out of the beautiful garden that he had created for them and so Adam and Eve went out into the world and began the human race that eventually covered the entire planet with people so that is the story of our creation and how we came to be but it's also an important lesson for us as well to to listen to people who give us advice if our mums and dads tell us not to do things or to be careful it's because they know that ultimately they're bad for us and likewise our teachers there in the school if they advise you to do something or advise you not to do something it's always important to listen to them because they're not just making things up and they're not just saying uh, do this or do that for for no reason at all they're doing that because they know that it's important uh, to follow their ad advice and they're looking out for you and looking out for your well-being and for your welfare so especially with our mums and dads our aunts and uncles and grandies and granddads they've gained lots and lots of knowledge and wisdom over the years so if they tell you not to put your hand into the fire they know that you'll get burnt and likewise if they tell you not to eat certain things that are are growing in the ground uh, it's because they might know the difference between mushrooms for example that are safe to eat and mushrooms that could be dangerous and make us sick so the story of the garden of Eve, eden talks to us about our creation how we came to be how humans came to be in the world but also more importantly it's about the importance of listening to god because god desires our very very best he created us like adam and eve and he wants us to be safe and well and happy so we listen to god and we listen to god mainly uh, through the bible and the words of scripture so boys and girls i hope you've enjoyed this assembly this morning on the garden of eden and we'll finish now with the lord's prayer and the school prayer so let's join our hands together and pray the lord's prayer our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen well done remember that we shout out amen at the end of our prayers because we say yes i agree with that i want this to happen now boys and girls our school prayer and i'll just open that for you here now this is our school let peace dwell here let the room be full of contentment let love abide here love of one another love of life itself and love of god amen so boys and girls i hope you have a wonderful day 